Okay, can we just switch to another subject now? Because you've issued a couple of press releases regarding crime, right? And you mentioned about burglars being tagged. But I have to say, I don't see any burglars in Harlow being convicted. I don't see any burglaries being solved. So, you know, it's nice you're going to tag them, but they don't exist because they haven't been caught. Well, yeah, the conviction rate is actually burglary, as far as I understand it, is, is one of the ones that has a slightly better rate of conviction compared to other forms of crime. That's a pretty but, low bar. But, but <laughs> I met with the police commissioner this week, uh, not the, sorry, I beg your pardon, I met with the chief superintendent, not the police commissioner, to talk about, uh, and I thank, by the way, your Harlow for raising crime in, in I know it's a passion of your Harlow newspaper. Um, I met with the um, chief superintendent this week. Um, they have pledged to me certain things they're going to do, particularly in the Little Pond and, and the uh, attack, gang attacks that there have been there and antisocial behaviour and much worse. And we're having, we've got more police now in, in Harlow and Essex. That has been guaranteed by the police commissioner. Um, so, uh, People can't see them. For example, I know this is unverified, yeah. etc. but somebody contacted me, he said their son was mugged off their bike yeah. in Potter Street, rang 999. Police then said later on, we're not coming. Okay, I know we've had to substantiate this. That's what she said in genuine good faith. But meanwhile, people will see 15 police officers in the market square handing out leaflets today. Yeah. And that's what really okay. upsets your so, voters, yes, your residents. I agree. And by the way, I suspect the story is true. You said, oh, it may not be true, but I'm sure because I have that in my... Uh, I have constituents riding me on. By the way, I know I've rung up the police mm -hmm. myself and, and um, the call service could be, you know, is not as good as it should be. But whenever these... All I can say is I have no control of the operational side of policing in Harlow. Please, um, I, whenever any res you raise, thank goodness you notified me of um, things that were happening um, in Little Pandan. When any res res resident raises things, I have regular meetings with the police. I have regular meetings with the police commissioner. He comes to Harlow. He's been to Harlow on numerous occasions. And what I, I can do is one campaign for more police, which we've d successfully done, but actually make sure that the resources are being deployed properly. And if residents write to me as MP, or let me know of things that are going on. And if things are not happening right, when I meet with the police chief superintendent, um, they will, uh, you know, I can then raise it with him and say, I'm sorry, why are there 20 police in the town centre? Having said that, I've ar keep been arguing for many months for many, my many more police in the town centre because the town centre, not all of it, but the uh, town centre north, um, the problems that have been.